is where we begin things tonight, and only News 3 is bringing you team coverage. Theo Keith has the latest live from the state capitol. And Jess Garp is breaking down the details even further, but let's start tonight with Theo. Yeah, Eric, Sarah, the news broke just after 2 o'clock this afternoon when a Waukesha County man named David Brandt filed these, this intent to, intent to basically start a recall petition signature effort against Scott Walker. He filed it with the Government Accountability Board here in downtown Madison. So 10 months after Walker took office in that Republican sweep, the effort to recall him is officially underway. You'd think it would be good news for the state Democratic Party, but instead they're calling this a Republican Republican ploy. And here's the reason why. When someone files this recall petition signature, these, these, uh, this statement uh, to uh, basically gather those signatures, the governor can start raising unlimited funds in his defense. Basically, game on. And so Democrats with United Wisconsin are calling this latest news, and David Brandt is actually Republican. Well, we've talked for the whole, um, during this whole period of planning, that there would likely be a filing on the first possible day by someone. And we speculated as well that it would actually be a supporter of Walker because this enables Walker to unleash the war chest of dollars. He now has access to millions of dollars to defend himself and run a new campaign. And so who is this David Brandt? News 3 has found campaign finance records that seem to indicate he is indeed a Republican supporter. He gave a small amount of money last year to Scott Walker during the gubernatorial campaign. He also gave a small amount of money earlier this year to the state Republican Party. We did ask a Republican Party spokeswoman about that, whether the party was influencing any of this at all. She told us that accusations uh, from Democrats that this was a Republican ploy, well, those are completely false. That's what we learned. She also issued this statement. As Democrats wage war on the governor's fiscally responsible reforms, he will continue to improve the state for hardworking families that elected him and that he would not be impacted or distracted, rather, by the recall effort. Now, David Brandt's reason for filing that statement of intent, he wrote, was to fulfill his friend's last request. Nothing more on that. As for the Democrats with United Wisconsin, they still plan to kick off their recall effort on November 15th. They will have 60 days from that date to gather about 540,000 signatures. All right, Theo's live downtown just outside the Capitol. Theo, thanks. And our team coverage continues now with our political reporter, Jess Garp, who is here to answer some important questions on this yeah, issue. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of questions on Facebook and Twitter. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, Jess, this is all about fundraising. When exactly can the governor start to uh, collecting money and getting money from supporters and there are limits in place too. Well there are they are playing under completely different rules at this point so yeah. as of this filing as Theo mentioned today the governor can raise unlimited funds by state law that's part of how the recall laws in Wisconsin work as for the recall organizations United Wisconsin has been fundraising as a political action committee thus far when they register as a recall committee they can change their filing and begin fundraising for that but the typical legal yeah. limits of ten thousand dollar contributions from an individual individual, that's what they will be under. There will be no limits, though, on contributions from other political action committees to a group like United Wisconsin. You'll also note that on this filing by David Brandt today, he said he would not raise or spend more than $1,000 on his efforts, so we learn a little bit more about maybe what his intentions are here. And now we have a question from Twitter. It's asking what the ramifications to the Democratic Party of Wisconsin and their recall effort here. Does the man from Muskego, Brandt, does he have exclusive rights here or something? He does not actually under the rules here. There is no limit to the number of committees that can file to recall an elected official. So United Wisconsin or any other group that may choose to file can continue with their plan filing on November 15th, which they say as of today they will do. All right, and another related Twitter question. We have plenty of these. Does that mean the recall deadline also moves up for this? And for that it does not either. Each committee does have their own 60-day window to collect these 540 thousand signatures that would be necessary to recall the governor and these deadlines did not affect each other so if United Wisconsin or any other group waits until November 15th they will still have until mid-January to submit their petitions if Brand would circulate his own he would have to do it by January 2nd or 3rd. Another interesting question here what if there are multiple committees you know more people different groups trying to launch recalls can one individual sign more than one petition Jess? Well if they are for a different committee's effort someone can but here's where things could get really confusing if by any chance two committees register they could have the option to combine their efforts and signatures using only those that are
are gathered in one of their 60-day windows. If that happens and they have duplicate names, it could, of course, be a problem. But again, we're not sure if the person that's filing today intends to circulate petitions at all. So if we presume that a group does gather sufficient signatures to trigger a recall, when would we have an election? Well, that's going to depend as well as to what date a group would submit their signatures. United Wisconsin, of course, would have until mid-January if they stick to their November 15th date. It would also depend on any legal challenges, but we can assume if we have a recall election, it would likely be sometime in the spring or maybe even early summer. And it could be a long couple of nights of election nights when <laughs> that like happens. Recalls 101 yeah. we just got from Jessica. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. And we'll have a lot more, of course, on this developing story on News 3 tonight at 9 and 10. And in tonight's News 3 at 9 text poll, we'd love to hear from you. We're focusing on this recall effort. Do you believe these petitions will lead to a recall election of Governor Scott Walker? You can text yes or no to 87301. We will share the results tonight at 9 on TVW. Legislative session.